will be, you know, the law. However, um, so uh, what suggestions then about the committee, the, the petition? We close the petition? Yes. yes we do. Yeah? Okay. Move on to the next petition then, which is petition 1209. Petition by A.J. Morton on behalf of the Secret History Project, calling on the Scottish Parliament to urge the Scottish Government to take all necessary action to protect Robert the Bruce Castle Gardens in Ayrshire. Now then. Uh, yes, Robert. Yes, I mean, the, the national, neither the National Trust for Scotland nor the West of Scotland Archaeology, Archaeology Service or Historic Scotland consider the site referred to in the petition to be of historical or archaeological significance. Um, and that the petition does, does have other avenues to pursue uh, for the concerns he's raised in the petition and on that grounds that uh, we can close this petition. John? Convener, or Vice Convener, I was going to suggest we don't close the petition uh, the, on the grounds that the petitioner has submitted a significant piece of work arguing that the site is of historical and archaeological interest. And what I would like the committee to do is forward the information that has been provided by the petitioner to the organisations, the Scotland Archaeological Service, Historic of Scotland, and National Trust for Scotland, West, uh, and ask them to comment on the further information we have received from the petitioner. I am aware the petitioner is intending to produce a book on this, but what I'd like to think is we don't lose sight of the possible historical and archaeological significance of this site uh, and the organisations that are vested with the powers to protect those sites are fully aware of the responsibilities. And on that basis, I would ask the committee to consider not closing the petition and submit the further paperwork to those organisations for their views. Thank you. Any other comments, yes? Surely the petitioner convener could submit that information to these organisations. I mean, I'm not completely against uh, the committee acting as a conduit here, but I mean, um, I think in respect of this one, it, if we are going to agree to act as a means of transmitting this uh, further information, it's one more shy and then no more. Uh, because uh, I think for this to go on any further, would not be appropriate. But John Wilson has said that we should have one more attempt at this, I think, is really what you're saying. And I think it should be one more and no further. And on that basis, I would, because I don't want a division in the Public Petitions Committee, mm -hmm. convener, uh, agree with what Jen Wilson is suggesting. But if they come back and say, um, you know, th there is no substance to this or that they disagree, and I really think we have to take that as finished. Well, but you see, we have, we have a uh, suggestion from Mr. Harper that uh, we close the petition. Uh, um, Vice Convener, there appear, appears to be a, a, a spoken majority for this to be given one more shot. But I, I would like to indicate, uh, for the sake of the petitioner, the, the words of comfort in the um, deposition for the West of Scotland Archaeology Service that protection for it against development already exists. Um, uh, all um, the area would have to be archaeologically tested at any prospective developer's expense should there ever be a future planning application for the area. In other words, if there were to be a planning application, it is protected in the sense that there must be an archaeological in-depth survey before that development could proceed, if at all. But uh, I will bow to the... You're, you're quite happy to go along with the express view of the committee. Time. Okay, thank you. Move on to petition 1211. Petition from Chris Fernie calling on the Scottish Parliament to urge the Scottish Government to investigate whether economic, business and social development is being constrained by the changes by the charges levied by some courier companies delivering to areas of Scotland, such as the Highlands and Islands. Now, this is quite a topical issue these days. Any comments from the members?
Well, you know, the courier companies are uh, charging for um, delivering to the islands, and it's not uh, a minimum charge, it's quite a substantial charge. And uh, it affects my own com constituency in uh, an another way as well, because at one time, as everybody knows, we had the island of Skye, which uh, was a complete island. We now have a bridge and uh, free access for everybody, and yet the courier companies are still charging excessive uh, supplement to deliver onto the island. Uh, the same happens in North and Shetland.